Thousands of timber jobs could be axed after the Andrews government announced plans to stop the logging of native forests. Conservationists have applauded the move, but the Premier has conceded some communities now face a challenging future. State political reporter Andrew Lund. Surrounded by saplings, Daniel Andrews unveiled his vision for the future of forestry. We're not making cardboard out of native timber. But timber workers accused the Premier of taking an axe to their industry. Makes us bloody angry. Brett Robbins says thousands of people stand to lose their jobs. We are the true conservationists. It, after five generations... We're still harvesting and regenerating the same forests that my grandfather and great-grandfathers have. After months of uncertainty, the state government announced an immediate ban on logging in old-growth forests, the phase-out of native timber logging by 2030 and a $120 million transition and support package. Pretty gutted, really. We never knew it was... Uh, we haven't been told nothing until this morning. There'll be pain, there'll be challenges in this, but we will stand with every single community. Fenning's mill in Bansdale relies on native forests. Its owner accused the Premier of trading country jobs for city votes. What our government has to realise is the gates are still open between here and Parliament House. So Look out. But one of the industry's biggest employers, the Maryvale Paper Mill, confirmed its operations will continue until 2050. And the decision to lock up around 90,000 hectares of high-value Victorian forest has been welcomed by conservation groups. They're incredibly important uh, for the wildlife that lives in them, for biodiversity, uh, they're massive stores of carbon that are keeping our climate safe. Critics argue the plan doesn't allow enough time for new plantations to grow and say that's likely to result in an increase in the cost of building materials and a reliance on imported timber. And next we'll have people uh, we'll have people protesting on the steps of Parliament that the orangutan's extinct. The government will now begin consultation about improving access to forests for tourism and recreation. Andrew Lund, Nine News.